Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel again. Call of Duty Mobile Season 10 is coming with a lots of new changes and settings. So if you want to win every battle royale, you always need best settings in Call of Duty Mobile. So there are tons of settings which will make new players confuse. But today, in this video, I will show you. Top 10 Best Pro Settings for Battle Royale in Call of Duty Mobile. These settings will make you pro and will improve your aim and fast movement and reaction in Battle Royale. So let's get started. Number 1. Camera Sensitivity. This setting is the most important setting and it plays an important role in COD Mobile. Basically, camera sensitivity means speed of looking around when you are not currently firing or during sprint when you are looking around. So for better understanding it, let's make value of third-person camera sensitivity value to low and see what will happen. On low value you will not able to move when you look around, which means your camera will stick to one position. No matter how fast you swipe on screen, your camera will not move in any direction. So now let's make value of camera sensitivity to high and see what will happen. On higher value, your camera will move fast in direction when you swipe on screen, this will result you can't focus on your target or enemy during combat. So for best camera sensitivity, always set the value between 100 to 130 or you can make your own adjustments by increasing or decreasing the value for your own gaming experience during gameplay. Number 2. Firing Sensitivity before going to next tip, many Call of Duty players asked me for solution of ping problem and lag issue in the game. So I have a solution to it, so go to my description and click on link to install the app. This game booster app will solve all kind of errors and ping problem in the game, so open the app and select Call of Duty Mobile, you can select any server in the list, and then select boost. So after connect, you will get low ping, and can solve all kind of errors in the game. Now let's talk about second and most important setting is firing sensitivity. So firing sensitivity means how fast your crosshair or aim moves when you swipe on the screen during aim. So for better understanding it, let's make the value of firing sensitivity to low and see what will happen. On low value, your crosshair and aim will move slow towards target no matter how fast you swipe on screen. As a result, you can't focus on your aim during combat. Now let's make value of firing sensitivity to high and see what will happen. On high value your crosshair and aim will move crazy, and this will result you can't play the game properly. So for best firing sensitivity settings, always set the value between 100 to 120, so this is best value according to me. But you can practice with these values and make adjustment according to your gameplay. Number 3. Field of View Settings In basic settings there are three options for FOV, FOV range, first person, and camera FOV, and FOV. So let's discuss these settings one by one. So if you are play Call of Duty Mobile with first person, then make value FOV value for first person always to high. Second setting camera FOV is very important for third person players, Camera FOV means how you see your character in the game. Are you confused? Okays then, let's me explain in simple words. So first let's make value of camera FOV to low and see what will happen. On low value you can't see your character full and this will also block your sight too. So now let's make the value to high and see the difference. On high value your character will be seen full and this will help you clear your sight, and you can look enemy clear while using hipfire mode. So if you are using high-end device, then always make value of camera FOV to high.
Now, the most important one FOV setting. FOV basically stands for field of view, so for better understanding, let's make value of FOV to low. On low value you can see enemy at distance clear, and also on low value of FOV, the map will takes little time to render, and if you are using low end device, then this will help you fixing lag issue in the game. But if you are using high-end device, especially for iPads and tab users, then make FOV value to high. On high value your camera will cover more area and will give you wide-angle view. It's best for hipfire players because they can see enemy more clear during close combat. But its disadvantage is you can't see enemy at distance. And also, it will take more time to render the map so sometime your game will face lag issue. So if you are using big screen devices then use higher values of FOV. But if you are using mobile then for best performance, always set the value of FOV between 50 to 62 for lag free gameplay. Number 4. Best Acceleration Settings In sensitivity settings there are three main settings for acceleration. So let's discuss these settings one by one. First let's talk about fixed speed acceleration. In sensitivity settings, if you use fixed speed acceleration, then your acceleration speed will be fixed to default value given by Call of Duty Mobile. So after that, no matter how fast you swipe on the screen, the acceleration value will be remain 120, which is officially recommended default. So most of the players uses the setting in multiplayer mode, but I will not recommend you to use the setting in Battle Royale because with fixed speed acceleration, you can't make backslide movement in the game. Also, if you want to learn broken movement, you can't make fast movement in the game. But if you are beginner and don't want to tweak sensitivity settings daily, then use this setting always. Now let's talk about the second setting which is distance acceleration. Distance acceleration means the distance cover in one swipe during rotation from left to right or right to left which means if you set a specific value in distance acceleration setting, then when, then you, when swipe, you swipe it, it will cover, cover only distance, distance according to that specific value which, which you set, set in setting. setting. No mat. Let me explain further. Let's suppose you set a low value in settings. Now, when you swipe, it will cover very small distance in one swipe. Now, let's make higher value in the setting. After this when you swipe then it will cover more distance, but game becomes unplayable, because you can't focus on target and can't do proper movement in any direction. So best setting for distance acceleration is between 100 to 120, because on the setting you can properly perform any action during the game. But if you are not comfortable with the setting, then you can practice in the game and set the value according to yourself. And finally let's talk about speed acceleration, well, this is the most popular and most used one setting in Call of Duty Mobile. Speed acceleration means how fast you move your finger on screen in one swipe, during rotation and slide jump backward shooting at enemy, so it all depends upon how fast your fingers are moving on screen. So most of big gamers use the speed acceleration because it's about your gameplay speed, how fast you are reacting to the situation. So best settings for speed acceleration is a myth, so everyone set values according to their own gameplay. So in my gaming experience, always set the value between 80 to 90. Because this value setting will always give you proper gameplay feelings, and you will feel comfortable during every game in Battle Royale, and you can do fast movement and reaction easily. Number 5. Best Graphics Settings Many players ask me about the best graphics settings for their devices, so I want to say best graphics settings depends upon your device. So let me explain. If you are using low-end device, and you see your device gets heat up, and you face lag, then make graphics quality to low and turn off these settings to get better graphics. And if you are using high-end device, and you have a phone cooler, 
Then make settings to medium or high in frame rate to max and turn on these settings to enjoy the best graphics details in the game. Number 6. Best Aim Sensitivity Settings. There are four main settings for aim in Call of Duty Mobile, so I will show each one by one, and also, you will see today how these aim settings will affect on your gameplay. Number 1. Tap and Hold Aim. In this setting you have to tap on aim to open it, and then you have to tap again to close the scope. This method is little bit slow while playing, because it's difficult during close fight to tap to open and tap to close, so I will not recommend you to use this aim setting. Number 2. Tap and hold aim. You can use this aim setting by holding the aim button instead of tapping it, so to use this aim you have to hold press button with your finger to open it and it will automatically close when you remove your finger from it. This setting is best for those player who don't want to open scope multiple time by taping on screen. Number 3. Hybrid Aim This is the most used and most effective aim setting in COD Mobile. To use this setting, all you need is to tap once on aim to open it, and then tap once to close it. Another method to use this aim is just tap and hold. Scope will appear, and when you unhold your finger then scope will automatically close. So I will recommend you to use this hybrid aim setting because you can use it in both ways. One tap aim and hold aim. So you can use it in during close combat and sniper shooting at distant because it's mixer of both previous aim settings. Also another advantage of this setting is scope will automatically appears when you tap on fire button. So you can use fire and scope together with one finger. Number 4. Double Tap to Aim This setting is very much slow and weird to use in any situation in COD Mobile, and also there is no physical aim button is available on screen. So to open scope you have to double tap on screen to open it, and double tap again to close it, so it's very slow and useless setting and don't know why they added this setting in COD Mobile. Number 7, Red Dot and Aim Sensitivity. In sensitivity settings, you will find these two settings in both camera and firing sensitivity, so for best result, always set same values for both settings. So if you want to know in detail what these settings are, I have already made a detailed video on it, so check link in description. Number 8, Joystick Settings. This is the most important setting because all the fast movement and reactions are based on it. So first let's make joystick size to big and see what will happen. When you set joystick to big then your thumb will cover more distance during swipe which will make your movement to slow and this will affect on your gameplay. So now let's make joystick to small and see what will happen. Now, when you use smaller joystick size, then you can easily do fast movement and reaction while sprint or move left right fast because your thumb now covers less area on your joystick.
So I will recommend you to use small joystick for fast movement and reaction in close combat. In previous seasons, there is only one option was available for joystick which was fixed joystick to on and off. But in season 7, there are three new options. Settings are now available for joystick. So let's talk about these option one by one. First let's talk about default setting. In this option your joystick will appear anywhere you place your thumb on screen. This is a default option which was available in previous season. Second option is follow mode. In follow mode, your joystick will follow your thumb position when you move on screen. So your joystick will follow all over your screen wherever you touch. Third option is locked mode. In locked mode, your joystick will always stick to one position no matter where you touch on screen. So I will recommend you to use default mode for joystick position. Number 9. Transparentize player setting. Sometime when you try to aim in close combat, your character will block your sight. So in order to fix this issue, turn on this setting in basic. This setting will make your character transparent while aim, and you can use shotgun aim easily. Number 10. Best audio settings. There are many audio settings, so I already made a detailed video on it, so check link in description, but here, I will tell you about ambient volume, so for understanding what ambient volume is. So first let's make ambient volume to high. Ambient volume is actually environment sounds like air, birds, river, water sound. On high ambient volume, you can't hear enemy footsteps clear in distant. So observe this carefully. On high ambient volume, you can't hear enemy footsteps clearly. So now let's make volume to down and see the difference. Now you can listen enemy footsteps very clearly. So always use value of ambient volume to low for better listening enemy footstep in the game. Hope so. With these settings you will see improvement in your gameplay. So if you have any questions and suggestions then comment me below and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel and hit bell icon to get notifications for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video then like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel.